What's up guys, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this video, we're gonna do another example dealing with symmetry. So we have to state whether each of these three functions here is odd, even, or neither. So starting with part A, we got uh, f of x equals one over x. So what we wanna do is see what's gonna happen when we have f of negative x. And so in this case, f of negative x, we would just plug in negative x for this x right here. And notice that we can rewrite this as negative bracket one over x, like that. We can kind of take that negative, put it on the outside. So we could have took the negative, put it in the numerator. I decided to just put it on the outside like that. And then from here, notice that one over x, what's that equal to? That's equal to f of x. And so what we just showed is that f of negative x equals negative f of x. And we know when we get this result that f of x is odd. And you can see it as well. Sometimes you can't graph these functions or you can always graph it, but sometimes the graphing is going to take long. But this one's pretty simple. It's just the parent function one over x. Notice if we take this portion and we rotate it, we would end up with this portion. Or another way, if a function is odd, what you can do is take the portion on one side of the y-axis and reflect it in the x-axis and the y-axis. And if you get the other portion, then it's odd. So remember, if it's even, you can only reflect it on the y-axis to see if you get that other portion. For an odd function, you reflect it in the y-axis and the x-axis. And so notice if we take this, reflect it in the y-axis, we would get that. And then reflect this in the x-axis, we would end up with that. Okay, so that's another way to tell whether a function is odd when you do both reflections. Versus an even, it's just that one reflection on the y-axis. Right, so either way, part a f of x equals one over x is an odd function. Now, what about f of x equals one over x minus one? So let's, uh, let's write this over here. Let's first show it algebraically and then I'll show you the graph as well. So what we gotta do, figure out what's f of negative x gonna be. Well, we would just plug in negative x for the x value and we'd have a minus one out here. So notice that f of negative x from here, we can tell doesn't equal f of x. So we know it's not going to be even. Let's try to make it perhaps equal negative f of x like we did with uh, part a, because if that happens, then it's gonna be odd. But notice if we factor out a negative in the denominator, we would end up with x plus one. So we could put that negative in front end up with one over x plus one. But notice one over x plus one, that doesn't equal f of x because f of x is one over x minus one. Right, so it doesn't seem like we can take this f of negative x and make it equal to negative f of x either. Right, so because it doesn't equal f of x or it doesn't equal negative f of x, it means that this function here is neither. And you can tell if you graph this, what's this graph gonna look like? Well, it's just gonna be that parent function one over x shifted by one to the right. So there's going to be a vertical asymptote here at x equals one, like that. And notice it doesn't have point symmetry, right? It has to have symmetry along these axes here. Right, so notice if I take this and reflect it in the y-axis, right, we're not gonna end up with this portion. This is the portion to the left of the, um, of the y-axis. If I take this and reflect it, I'm not gonna end up with that. Or if I take all of that to the right of the y-axis and reflect it, I'm not gonna end up with that. So it's obvious it's not even. And then same thing with odd, if I take this and reflect it in the y-axis and the x-axis, I'm not gonna end up with that. 
right? So no axis symmetry, no point symmetry. So this here is uh, neither. And then finally, what about one over x squared? Well, f of negative x, we're gonna plug in what? Negative x for that x value, you gotta put in brackets. And then negative x to the power of any even exponent, it's gonna be one over x to the power of that even exponent, right? Because this negative x, if you wanna show the work a little bit more, if your teacher's picky, it's like a negative one in front, we can distribute, quote unquote, that exponent to everything. Because if you have multiple functions, let's even put three, or multiple expressions, all to the power of x, and they're all multiplying, well, you can take each of those expressions to that exponent on the outside of the bracket. You can't do this if they're adding, but if they're multiplying, then that rule does apply. So we just did that here. Negative one squared is just positive one, and then we're just end up, uh, we just end up with x squared. So notice f of negative x, we made it equal to f of x. And so in this case, this function here is even. And if we were to graph this, you can take this, plug it into Desmos, you'd end up with a graph like that. So notice it has that axis symmetry. If I take this portion and then reflect it on the y-axis, notice I'll end up with that portion, right? So this last function is even.